ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯೂರ್ಣಮಾಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ವಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ವರ್ಷ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ನಿರಂತರಾಭ್ಯಾಸವಶಾತ್ ತದಿತ್ಥ ಪಕ್ವ ಮನೋಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಲೀಯತೆ ಯದ ತದ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸವಿಕಲ್ಪವರ್ಜಿತ ಶತೋ ದಯಾನಂದರಶಾನುಭಾವಿಕ ಹರಿಪೀತ್ ನಿರಂತರಾಭ್ಯಾಸವಶಾತ್ ತದಿತ್ಥ ಪಕ್ವ ಮನೋಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಲೀಯತೆ ಯದ ತದ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸವಿಕಲ್ಪವರ್ಜಿತ ಶತೋ ದಯಾನಂದರಶಾನುಭಾವಕ the translation is thus purified by constant practice when the mind merges with brahman then samadhi passes from the savikalp to the nirvikalp stage leading directly to the experience of the bliss of brahman the non dual see the again translation when the mind purified thus by constant practice is merged in brahman then the samadhi passes one from the savikalp to the nirvikalp stage and leads directly to the realization of bliss of brahman the one without second in previous verse we have studied the mind should be pure and its impurities are sattva raj and tama so seeker has to be bound to clear the impurity of the mind by practice practice has to be done by a seeker no question is what practice what a seeker should we do what kind of practice any chanting any mantra any charity what kind of practice the seeker should be do if something is to be done we are ready if some there is any work to do we are ready we are ready at every time if there is any work in activity we are ready so what kind the practice should be done by a seeker sankracharya says nirantara abhyas nirantara abhyas the spirituality is the art of purification of the mind all spirituality means 
you are trying to purify your mind and practice if we know how to drive a car and sometimes we drive also but not regularly so we cannot drive a car perfectly even you know how to drive a car but you cannot drive perfectly you need practice so that is why in spirituality practice is very very necessary and your practice should be to do only only for mind be attentive the all spiritual path is only for mind neither we can make any difference in the world nor in the difference the soul the world and soul they both are always as they are it could not be done anything with the world or with the self nothing can be done with the reflections the world is as a reflex so we cannot do with the reflections they cannot correct it they cannot idle something so world is a, a reflection so we cannot do anything we cannot add we cannot take from the world and same we cannot do anything for the self self is always the self so our doing means what our doing means practice with mind the knowledge of the self are any knowledge knowledge does not change object of the knowledge knowledge just illuminator not creator so only work is for a seeker purification of the mind purification of the mind is the first and last work for a seeker all spirituality begins from the mind and they will end with the mind mind is a very important for everyone who want to realize the consciousness even in the world so every practice is connected to the mind you can begin by very small religious activity you can chant you can do japa meditation pilgrimage any any a good activity whatsoever good deeds you do all are for purification of the mind and a noble man can do noble work if you have good heart then you good deeds can be done your all good deeds purify your mind your heart then slowly slowly gradually there are many stages more pure heart then more pure good work can be done they nurse each other and gradually developments of the purification of the minds grows finally gradually 
this final stage will come. And this stage is Savikalpa Samadhi. Be careful. You have done all, all ritualistic work. You have done our mental activity. You have done your all duties. Finally, the state will come, it calls Sabhikalpa Samadhi. This is the result of many, many sadhanas. Till now, Shikhar was working in the periphery of the mind. But in this state, you encounter mind directly. You are working with mind in other activities. Sadhak was working, doing something religious, ritualistic, mantras, and whatever. These activities were not direct connected to the mind. But in this state, I call Savikalpa Samadhi. Once this state comes, the sadhak was given instructions by a master. The master says, you have to drop whole the universe. You drop all universe and you can choose any one object from the whole world. In this state, you take one object from the whole world. You choose the best one in the whole universe. This choosing one is like God. So someone can choose God as an object. Or a thought, a logic, happiness, eyeness. Any, any object, these all are objects. These all are objects. The seeker chooses from the all universe. From the whole universe, he takes the waste. Then universe, it have dropped from the mind. As if this object is more precious than whole world. And gradually, now only one object is in front of your mind. All other objects disappears. One object, it may be God, image of the God, it may be a thought, it may be happiness, anything. Your focus is only on one, one point from the all universe. So this object is more precious than the whole world. And gradually, See, next, this is object also will disappear. As ice melt, this object, beloved object will also automatically melt like ice. In meditation, you are taught Take an object and make it settler and settler and settler, and finally your object will disappear. So you have chosen one object from the all universe. So universe already has dropped. Now you have taken one object, this object also melted. In this state, 
the mind would be without any object. No object. So see, without object, mind is no mind. Purification of the mind is must. And only purified mind will get no mind state. Sankarachari says, this is mature state of the mind. Pakkam mano brahmani yate yada. The maturity of the mind is when mind becomes pure. And when mind becomes pure, it does not exist. Mind is there because mind is not pure. If mind is pure, then mind disappears. When it is impure, then only mind is there. You are, you are nowhere. Just mind is, my mind says this, my mind says that I want to do this, I want to do that. Only mind is working. It means mind is impure. Impure mind is everywhere. Impure mind is like your whole existence and pure mind disappears. Your entire existence is only mind, if mind is not pure. And if mind is pure, then what happens? Sankaracharya says, it merges into Brahman. Brahmani liyate. If mind is pure, it disappears. It merges with the Brahman. Then, the boundary, the limitless, all limitations has been broken. Now, your work is over. The rest will happen itself. No effort is needed. The process next, it will happen automatically. This is the peak of doing. This is the highest point of the action. You have done whatever had to be done. Now doer will no more. Limitations has gone. Doership also gone. Object, mind, both have gone. Then no reflection, no duality, consciousness is alone with its glory. Sankaracharya says, Tato Dayananda Rasanu Bhavati. Without duality, you are alone. You are not doer. Not experienced. Both had gone. But you realize yourself. Now, next one. Samadhinane na samasta vasana granthe vinaso kila karmanasha antar vahi sarvata eva sarvada sarupa vispurt apriyatanatasya. I repeat. Again, Samadhinane na samasta vasana Granthe vinaso kila karmanasa Antar vahi sarvata eva sarvada Sarup spurti apriyatanatasya So Sankarachari says the meaning is by this nirvikalpa samadhi Notes of all residual impressions, vasanas, it destroyed. All actions come to an end. Once real nature, sarup, manifests spontaneously and effortlessly, forever, everywhere, and always 
within and without. See the translation again. By this samadhi are destroyed all desires which are like notes, all selfish work, it ate and ends, and inside and outside there takes place everywhere and always the manifestation of one's real nature without any effort. Samadhinanina. Now Sankaracharya is going to explain the result of Nirvikalpa Samadhi. Nirvikalpa Samadhi. When one gets this state, there are no conditions. The consciousness is at as it is. It is some results is being said here by Sankarachari, it is happened itself. As we discussed in previous verse, till Sabikalpa Samadhi, your work is till Sabikalpa Samadhi. One pointed, single pointed, single pointed devotion. And finally, the object disappears. And you enter it. Nirvikalpa Samadhi, there is no object. No mind, no object, just you. And you are aware about yourself. In deep sleep, there is also no mind, no duality, but you are not aware. But in fourth state, in Nirvikalpa Samadhi, in this Samadhi, mind is not there, but knowledge is fully its glory. You know yourself. So in this state, in this state, there is no previous impressions. What are previous impressions? We have to understand what is previous impressions. Impressions means we have done something, any work, or we have did in previous lives. And the work is yet is pending. It has not given fruits to us. It is pending. So work has done. So work has been done, but its fruit, its results still is pending. So the work and the results, in between, there must be something link. Work has completed, but result yet to is coming. So between this, in both, between both, there must be a link. We call it punya. In philosophical language, we call it adrisht, not visible. It is there, but it is not visible. It is exist, but it is not visible. It may be sin, it may be virtue. So this adrisht, invisible, Punya, sin, or virtue, we call it impressions. So they are in process. 
Samadhinanina Samastha Vasana. Before this state, in waking state, in dream state, we enjoy. We enjoy our happiness and we enjoy our unhappiness. See, because of our previous impressions, we are happy, we are unhappy. Our previous impressions make us happy or unhappy. Our happiness or our unhappiness has its reason. If reason has gone, happiness or unhappiness also gone. So this link between the action and its result is called impressions. These impressions become desire. Samast vasana. Like, you know, in many years many year before, we had a camera with a roll. And when we click it, in the roll, there a, becomes an a impression. Then you can develop it. Impressions were captured. Then you can develop it. So when work is done, its impression was captured in my mind. And it can be developed. So this is the vasana, desires. So Sankaracharya says, whatever we did in dream state or in waking state, its results we enjoy, we experience. But see the difference. Whatever you did in dream state, you are not responsible in waking state. If you have committed any sin in dream state, in waking state, you are not responsible. And same, whatever you had good or bad, bad in waking state, you will not get its result in dream state. Whatever you have in waking state, it will not continue in dream state. Both are separate. And now, when one enters in the fourth state, fourth state in Samadhi, whatever you have done in other states, in other lives, they will not produce any fruit. They entirely destroy it. and pure consciousness is there. In fourth state, in Nirvikalp Samadhi, pure consciousness is exist and pure consciousness cannot be punished and cannot be rewarded. Pure consciousness cannot be do anything. Nothing can be done with consciousness. Consciousness has not done anything. So Sankarachari says, Samastha Vasana Granthe Vinaso Khila Karmanas. So this way is all activity, the actions will destroy. Once one become perfect in this state, then everywhere, anywhere, inside, outside, without any effort, bliss of self can be experienced. In this state, see, very, very paradoxical, doing nothing, experiencing everything. You can see the miracle of not doing. Actually, what happens in our life, unhappiness is not knowing what we want to and killing ourselves to get it. 
without knowing what i want and i am doing i am doing our problem is blindly doing we cannot stop ourselves from actions we have understanding if we want something we have to work this is our understanding yes that's right that's right if you want something you work you have to work we must work what we want but first think what we want this is true if you want something you must work you must act but it has to be known if you want yourself then if you want something any object any person then you work if you want yourself i want myself then what then what i want happiness then what should i do we work for happiness we got unhappiness so first know what do you want if you want any object you work if you want yourself do not work just stop antar vai sarvada eva sarvada just stop and open your eyes knowledge eyes and you will see you will encounter everywhere you are within and without and without any effort see the world ayatnata without any effort if you make effort it will go far away from yourself effort will make you in a distance by effort by action we can get objects we can into the world for yourself if you want yourself the way is just opposite just opposite up what is don't do anything just relax just relax every time kabir says sahaj samadhi in words of kabir sahaj samadhi sahaj means spontaneous nothing to be do done just open your eyes it is everywhere it was everywhere it is you sarvata antar vahi inside outside now if you close your eyes then you can meditate i am inside the body i am inside the body but after this state you are everywhere sarvata sarvada always it is like this if you know i am human being once you have known that i am a human being then it is no matter where you are you are in europe you are a human being you are in india you are a human being you are any other country you are a human being any time once you have known i am human then wherever you go 
any time always this thought is continue i am the human being so time and space will not make any difference sankaracharya says if you have understood your pure consciousness in in the state of nirvikalp samadhi i am the pure consciousness i am the non dual i am without second then anything is not matters the time is not matters space is not matters then waking dreaming and deep sleep are states will not make any change antarvai so having having done this samadhi nirvikalp samadhi if seeker sleeps his sleep is not sleep this is samadhi if he he waking state it it waking state is not normal waking state he is in samadhi here samadhi does not means you sit properly and took a posture take a good posture like lotus pose and deep some breathing and pranayama and concentrate and go to samadhi for little time no here that not it means this samadhi is always time is not matters posture is not matters closing eyes are not it is not matters spontaneous it is like you are breathing your breathing is very very spontaneous we are we do not do any effort for breathing breathing is effortless we are sleeping breathing is there we are waking breathing is there we are even deep sleep breathing is there like same once someone have got this samadhi this state like breathing any state waking waking this samadhi deep sleep also samadhi everywhere and one more thing has to be remembered it does not mean he will not work he will work but he will not work the seeker will not work hands will work feet will work eye will see ears will listen tongue will taste i am not doing anything he realized the seeker realize not his eyes and doing everything the seeker does not do anything now next one shrute sat gunam vidyan mananam mananadapi nididhyasam laksha gunam anantam nirvikalpakam i repeat again shrute sat gunam vidyan mananam mananadapi nididhyasam laksha gunam anantam nirvikalpakam the meaning is reflection should be considered as a hundred times superior to mere listening sustained meditation is a hundred thousand times superior to reflection but the value of nirvikalpak samadhi is infinitely superior to all see the translation reflections should be considered as 100 times superior to hearing and meditation is 100 1000 times superior to reflection even but the nirvikalp samadhi is simply infinite in its results so see the value of the infinite samadhi the glory of the infinite samadhi nirvikalpak samadhi 
Shankarachari says, the value of the Nirvikalpak Samadhi, the glory of the Nirvikalpak Samadhi extremely, extremely high. In this verse, he's giving some informations about this Samadhi. The value of the Nirvikalp Samadhi is being said, is giving some comparisons. By this comparison, you can understand the value of the Samadhi because Without comparison, we cannot understand the value of the anything. Comparison is, we always judge. This is good, this is not. This is a better. Our all knowledge is in judgment, in comparison. Always we compare, this is the better, this is the best, this is the good, this is the bad, always, without this method, we cannot understand the value of the, any object. The gold is more valuable than, than you can say silver, not diamond. So anything is not absolute. Silver is more valuable, then not gold. So this way, this is the waiter, this is the waiter, and this is the best. Always we make compare. Compression is the must. So make understand this samadhi, Sankracharya, here giving a comparison. And he starts, he is starting from mananam. Srute Sat Gunam Vidyan. He started from the listening, listening, hearing. And he did not consider other spiritual qualities which are lower than listening. See, Sankaracharya started from the listening. In Vedanta, there are so many qualities for a seeker. Very beginning, we have listened for qualifications for every seeker. And then a seeker becomes eligible, eligible for hearing. Hearing, reaching, and contemplating. These three are no optional. There is no option. In previous statements, in pre very previous beginning, there are so many options. You can do chapa, you can do chanting, you can study mantra part, pilgrimage, holy bath, fast. There are so many options. You can do this one, you can do that one. Slowly, slowly, every, every your good activity will create your spiritual strength. Every step which has been taken towards Atman had its own meaning. You did japa, it had its meaning. You did chanting, it had its own meaning. But Sankaracharya, to make us understand this samadhi, he started from the hearing. Hearing is the first medium. Even proper hearing also not easy. Hearing is listening. Today we have lots of devices, 
lots of instruments, lots of facility to hear anything. Live, CD, DVD, YouTube, there are so many. We can hear anything, but this hearing is not acceptable. It's not hearing. For hearing, real hearing, the master and disciple both should be available. The hearing which give us true description of the soul. The master should be there and disciple also should be there. Then hearing is possible. Hearing means what? Hearing means srotavya sutivakibya. Listening what? About consciousness, not about the world. About the world, we are listening, hearing always 24 hours. When scripture says hearing, it means hearing about the consciousness, what consciousness is. What consciousness is. And this listening can be done only by Vedas. So first is listening, srute, sat gunam vidyan. Next is manan. Sankrachari says, the manan is 100 times more superior than hearing. If you heard, it is like that once one can eat food. But food should be digested. If food remains undigested, it becomes cause for disease. It becomes cause for disease. The purpose of the food was totally different. Mananam is the most meaningful. So, you First listen, but mananam is the most important. Then after mananam, mananam means you apply your logic. After having heard, then apply your logic and take a decision. You must take a decision this is the purpose of mananam. And after that, once the decision was taken, and you remain always with your decision, you remain always with your decision, this is Nididhyasa. You are almost there. But you have to make an effort to establish in this state, decision has been taken. This decision is doubtless. In waking state, when we see anything, this is a flower. We believe ourselves, our sense organs, this is the flower. This knowledge doubtless, because I have seen through my eyes. I have seen, so there is no doubt, because I believe my sense organs are perfect. In this state, when a seeker has reached in Nirvikal Samadhi and Manan, Nidityasan, his vision is very clear. Sankarachari says, Srute Shat Gunam Vidyan Mananam Mananadati. Hearing is the waste, but Manan is a hundred times superior than hearing. And Nidityasan is a hundred 
thousand times superior than the mananam and finally the last stage comes it is a nirvikal samadhi it will comes automatically and it is not comparable now next one nirvikal pakam samadhi nasputam brahma tattvam avagamyate dhruvam nanyata chalataya manogate prayatantara bimisritam bhavet i repeat again nirvikalpak samadhina sputam brahma tattvam avagamyate dhruvam nanyata chalataya manogate pratyantar bimisritam bhavet the meaning is by nirvikalpa samadhi the true nature of brahman is clearly and definitely realized never otherwise for the mind being unsteady is apt to get mixed with other modifications see the translation one more time by the nirvikalpa samadhi the truth of brahman is clearly and definitely realized but not otherwise for then the mind being unstable by nature is apt to be mixed with up with other perceptions this state is uncomparable because it is a state where self realization happens truth of self brahman can be revealed only in this state see sankaracharya emphasized again and again about this state in waking state you know object gross object in dream state we know subtle objects in deep sleep we do not know anything no any object but in this state in a state fourth state no subtle object no gross object you know yourself that is why sankracharya says this state is the waste uncomparable so clearly faith is not required now you are doubtless state we believe it means i am not clear and one thing remember the absolute absolute faith we have in ourselves sometimes we believe other too but this the belief but we believe ourselves doubts can be regain any knowledge which is given by others but you know any object directly then there is no no any doubt sankracharya says nirvikalpak samadhi nasputam brahma tattvam avagamyate dhruvam in this state in fourth state the realization of the self would be very clear it is like you are watching your book your chair in front of you no doubt nirvikalp samadhina sputam brahma tattvam avagamyate dhruvam this brahma tattva this reality can be known in this state and nanyatha chalataya manogate any other state 
in waking state, dream state, we know self. We always know self. Without self, any knowledge cannot be possible. Like this is a book, we know book. In this knowledge, there are three things: object, knowledge, and knower also. Knower means I. So I am everywhere. I am everywhere. In dream state, I am everywhere. Without me, there is nothing. No waking state, no dream state. So I know myself every time. But this knowledge is not pure. This knowing is, this knowing of self is with something. Mind has projected something. Intellect has said to you, you are the body. So I means, I means body plus consciousness. So this is nowhere. I know myself in waking state. I know myself in dream state. But Sankarachari says, Nanyata chalataya manungate pratyantaram. So knowledge, my high knowledge, I am dream state, I am waking state, I am every knowledge. Without me, there is nothing possible. But this I is, this my is not pure. It is a projected I, projected by mind. Mind has imposed pratyantara, any identification. Mind told to us, you are body plus consciousness. You are mind plus consciousness. You are prana plus consciousness. You are human being plus consciousness. You are father plus consciousness. You are something, not only consciousness. So Sankaracharya says, pratyantara in other states. You know yourself, but you do not know pure yourself only in this state. In fourth state, you know yourself and pure yourself. And its result is, Upanishads are saying, Tarati Sokam Atma The one who has known self, he crosses all miseries. We know ourselves, but miseries are here. I am miserable because I know myself, not pure myself. I know myself with the body, with the mind, with the five courses. Only in this state, you know yourself without any projection of the mind. Your consciousness and happiness is there. Om Puranamada Puranamidam Purana Puranamudachate Puranasya Puranamadaya Puranameva Vashishyate Om Santi Shanti Santihi Shankaram Sankaracharyam Keshavam Vadarayanam Sutra Bhashya Kritav Vande Bhagavantav Pona Pona Isharu Guru Ratmiti Murti Veda Bibhagine Vyoma Vadavyapta Dehaya Dachina Murtai Namaha Om Shanti Shanti Shanti